Hey everyone, I hope you are all doing well. My name is Akib and today's video is all about relationships. Well, I am talking about customer relationships. Guys, maintaining a strong customer relationship is very important for any business to thrive. So, uh, to maintain that relationship, people use CRMs that is customer relationship management applications but they have to invest a lot of their time and effort to fetch the details of those leads or customers from the top of the funnel into their CRMs where they can actually start managing those uh, customers. Okay, so let me share with you an, an automation technique which will let you fetch your leads or customers from contact form 7 plugin of WordPress into your keep CRM application automatically so that you can focus more on uh, maintaining relationship with your customers rather than just playing with the data of your customers. Okay, so let me show you how it is going to happen. So guys, to set up this automation, we are using Pavli Connect, which is an integration and automation tool. And the flow of our automation will look like this. As and when any lead is going to submit the form that you have created from Contact Form 7 plugin, the same lead will be uh, delivered to your Keep CRM automatically and will be saved there as a contact. Okay, so let's start setting up this automation together. So guys, the first step to create this automation is to log in into your Pabli Connect account and reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect here like this. Okay, so guys, please do check the link that we have pasted in the description from where you can set up your free Pavli Connect trial account in just two minutes. After that, you can log in and reach here on the dashboard. And guys, here you have to start working by creating a workflow of automation. For that, you have to just click here on this create workflow button. And here you can give any suitable name to your workflow. So let me fill the name here. So I have given the name to this workflow as send leads from contact form seven to uh, keep CRM automatically, okay? Now you can click here on this create button and you can see your workflow getting created here like this. And guys, on this page, you will find these two things, the trigger and the action. So our automation work on these things. So guys, trigger is a signal to this automation and it is saying when this happens, that means when any event occurs, it acts as a signal for this automation to start working. And according to this trigger, as a response, it has to perform this action. So action will make Pavli Connect do this or do anything that you want. Okay. So first of all, you have to set up your trigger for that. You have to click here and from this choose app field, you have to choose your trigger application. So we are going to use a feature of Pavli here, which is called webhook. So guys, webhook is a feature which will let you bring the data out from uh, external source to here in Pavli Connect. But before, let me show you the dashboard of uh, uh, my WordPress where I have created the contact form seven. Okay. So guys, this is the dashboard of uh, my WordPress and this is the form I have created. So you can also create such forms uh, like this contact form uh, from the dashboard of WordPress. And for that, you have to install this plugin here in your WordPress first. And for that, what you can do, you, you just have to scroll down here and you will find a plugin option here on the left hand side panel. And from here, here you can uh, click on add new button and another page will open up. And uh, from here, you have to search from the search bar for the plugin that is contact form seven. Okay, so let me search for it. So here you can see uh, this is contact form seven plugin. You have to install this and activate this. I have already done this, so you can also do. And after that, when you stall and activate it, it will show up here in the left hand side panel as this contact. Okay. So from here, you can uh, create a new form by clicking on add new. Okay. Let me show you the contact forms that I have created. Okay. So this is, these are the forms that I have created and we are using a, a contact form that I have attached, uh, that I have embedded on my website page. So guys, you can create this form by, uh, by here. And after come after you complete your form, it will show you this short code of your form like this. Okay, so these are the short codes of my form. And if you want to embed this form into a website page, what do you have to do? You have to copy this short code. Then you have to find the website page in which you want to embed this. So let me show you the pages. I'm clicking on all pages. 
and from here you have to choose any page which you uh, on which you want to embed this form let me uh, choose this page only okay or let me show you the page I am using actually so this is a page I have created for my WordPress site named as public contact page okay and here I have embedded this form by pasting the short code of the form here like this okay so when you paste the short code you just have to click on update here and update your page and that will start appearing on the website or WordPress website that you have created and if you want to know where you want to uh, make that form appear you can use appearance option here when you scroll down here it will show you this appearance option from here come to menus tab okay and from here you can select from on this page you can select the page from here and from here from this menu settings you can select where you want to put that uh, where you want to appear that page okay and the form okay after that we have to start integrating this wordpress page to here in public connect and we are going to use webhook for this so select webhook as a trigger and then you have to copy this webhook url that is uh, that is here okay so click on copy here and you have to go back to the dashboard of wordpress and from here you have to scroll down uh, here on the left hand side panel and here you will find the settings and in the settings you will find this wp webhooks tab or wordpress webhooks so click on it and here you have to click on this send data tab click on send data and another page will open up and from here you have to scroll down a bit more and here you will find a contact form 7 plugin option here it is so click on contact form 7 submit tab okay and here you have to click on this add webhook url button like this and here you can give the name to your webhook like this i am typing to keep crm okay so you can give any name to the webhook then you have to paste the webhook that you have copied from public connect here like this to here in this field in the webhook url field like this okay then you have to click on add for cf7 forms and the webhook will be added here like this you can see it is written the webhook url has been added and as you copied the webhook url here in public connect started showing this waiting for the webhook's response this means guys now you have to do you have to perform a test submission or you have to fill the uh, form as a uh, for the test purpose to set up this automation okay so we are going to fill this form here and we are going to fetch the data out of uh, this form to here in public connect and with the help of that data we are going to set up this automation further okay so let me open my form so here it is on the public contact page on this page i have embedded the form here is the form let me fill it so i am filling the name of the person who is filling the form as zoya khan and the email right so here is the email and the contact number and i am clicking on submit okay and you can see the form is getting submitted here so it will take a few moments and you can see the form is actually submitted here okay so here you can see the thank you message thank you for a message it has been sent now let's check in public connect if we, if we got the data so you can see the data of the form submission is here like this so it is showing us the title and here you will find the data of the person who have filled the form you can see the first name the last name the email and the phone number so with the help of this data only actually we want to save this data of this lead into our keep crm application which is this here as a contact okay so for that what you have to do you have to come to this actions tab and now we have to perform an action which is to send this data to keep so for that you have to search keep here this one infusion soft or keep so select it then you have to select the action event so public connect provides you all these action events here you can apply a tag to contact and keep you can create a company you can create a note you can create product you can create a tag and you can get all the contacts and many action events are here and we are using this create or update contact because we want to create a contact in keep okay so i'm selecting this 
then you have to click on connect here so from this window select add new connection then click on connect with infusionsoft by keep and from this window it will bring you to the login window if you are not logged in as i have already logged in in my keep uh, account it is just asking me for providing the access to create a contact there so you have to click on allow that is completely safe and you will be authorized first like this and you will be connected with keep like this okay now it is started uh, asking for this email okay and all these options to create a contact in your crm okay so we are going to use the data the test data that we have fetched here in the first step to set up this automation and to create a contact okay so i'm going to map the details here that we got in the first step for the email you just have to click here and it will show you this webhooks option in the drop down and when you click on it it will show you the details that you have fetched from the very first step okay so you can see you can find all the details here that you got from the form submission and from here i'm going to map the email like this okay now it is asking how to check for duplicates so uh, whenever it creates a contact in keep crm it will check for dupli duplicates if the contact already exists in keep it will not create a new contact so you can select the uh, the process how you want to check for duplicates so you can select here uh, email or email and name so if the email was already there it will not create a new contact if the email and name is there so you can select the, these kind of options so i'm selecting email here so every time if a new email got fetched then only it will create a contact okay now here it is asking opt in so if this person who whose data you have fetched is opted in for the communication from your side as we have created a contact page here and if someone is submitting submitting this form this means he has opted in or if you have a subscription form that, uh, and someone is submitting that subscription form that means uh, he has opted in so you have to mark here as opt-in yes and you can give the reason for opt-in uh, so this lead is coming from a web form so i am giving the reason as web form okay and now it is asking for the first name so i'm going to map the first name from here only from the data that we got from the first step this is the first name this is the last name okay so this is the last name right and the job title the, uh, so currently we do not have all these details so i'm going to leave these uh, fields blank if you got the details here you can map these details also okay so you have to have uh, these fields in your form also if you want to get these details also okay uh, right now i'm leaving these things blank but i do have a phone number so i'm going to map the phone number here okay where is the phone number here it is okay and uh, the website and the social media links i am leaving all such things blank now but you can map it if you have and uh, now let's check our connection if the connection with keep crm is working properly or not so for that you can click here on save and send test request and this test lead will be added here in the contact list in my keep application so i am clicking here on save and send test request and let's see what happens and you can see this kind of response is received here let's check in my keep if we got the data so i am refreshing my keep crms page okay so you can see a new person got added here as the name is zoya khan and this is the same person whose data we have captured here in pabli connect so a connection with keep application is working fine now let me give you a quick recap and guys let me tell you one thing that you have to set up this automation only once you have to uh, make the connections and map the data only once after that you don't have to do anything after that as and when you receive any form submission from your lead the data of the form submission will be delivered to your keep crm and will be saved as a new lead or a contact okay so first of all what we have done here we connected in the trigger this webhook and with the help of this webhook we fetch the test data from our form to here like this after that i connected keep application in the action step to create a contact there and map the details that we got from the first step like this and after that i checked the connection that was working fine okay now you just have to save this workflow by clicking on save okay 
And guys, the good part is you can use this same workflow because I'm going to paste the link of this same workflow in the description so that you can clone it in your own free Pabbly Connect trial account and start using this automation instantly. So guys, this is it for today's video. If you got any query regarding our business automation, you can ask and discuss your queries from this forum. And guys, if you want to check the pricing of this application, you can use this link. And if our automations are helping you, do not forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel.